Welcome back everyone to another Weber Smoky Mountain 14.5 video. Tomorrow we're gonna to be smoking some chicken wings. And I was down at Richard's Country Meat Market today, down there sniffing around like I always am. And I came across a couple of interesting uh, seasonings and rubs. Look at this, habanero chipotle. It's got uh, smoked paprika and habanero powder, among some other, some other little goodies in there. Look at that sweating already look at this one chili lime seasoning this one has a uh, ground chili peppers and uh, uh, lime juice powder that's interesting they look pretty good so we get these uh, nice looking chicken wings right here look at these we're gonna rinse these off and pat them dry and then we're gonna trim them up a little bit then we're gonna put them in the fridge overnight so we'll be ready for tomorrow. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'll show you how to trim up these, these wings. It's really easy to do. You're gonna take a wing, we're gonna cut off, we're just gonna cut off the tip, okay? Just like that. And then we're gonna go down the middle, get over there. We're gonna go down the middle, right here, just down to the bone where it's split. And we're gonna leave it just like that. We're gonna smoke it just like this. Now let's go wash it. Then we're gonna rinse it like this, and then we're gonna pat it dry. All right, once you got them patted dry, we're gonna put them on a rack just like that. I'm gonna go finish up the other ones, be right back. Okay, that's the last one. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these in the fridge. And we're gonna let them dry out overnight. That'll help give us a little bit better texture on those skins. Have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Good afternoon. We had the wings in the fridge for about 18 hours and now we're just gonna leave them out uh, for about an hour so they'll come up to room temperature. Time to season these wings. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pat them dry one last time. You can see a little moisture came out of them overnight. Like that. We're gonna put them in this bowl. And the last one. Now, take a little bit of vegetable oil, put it in here. Let's give it a toss. Gonna use a little bowl of seasoning. The first one we're gonna use is this habanero chipotle. I like to use a little bowl, it catches all the seasonings. Let's start here. This is... Woo! Wow, that's hot. It's not too salty, so I know I can use a little bit more seasoning. So we're gonna do, we'll do half of these, uh, half of the habanero chipotle, and then we'll do the lime chili for the second half of the wings. And we'll put, we'll separate them, we'll put on one on each side. Okay, now we're gonna try the, the lime chili. I think that one's got a little more salt. So maybe won't, won't put as much. Okay, they're done. Now the smoker's almost ready and we're gonna go put them on. Okay, we got some charcoal. A lit coal from the top. Gonna put the lid on. Now we're gonna put the bowl in here. But we're not gonna put any water. As you know with these Smoky Mountains, when you put water in one of these little water pans uh, or whatever liquid, liquid you want, it's gonna take a while to get the temperature up on the inside. So we're gonna put the lid on and see if we can get this baby scorching hot. All right, looks like we have hit the 300 degree mark. 
you feel that heat coming out of the exhaust. It's hot. That's exactly how we want it. Remember, no water, no water pan. Here's the bottom rack. And we're going to put the, uh, the chili lime, or the lime chili, on the bottom. Alright, next, we're going to put the habanero chipotle on top. Spread these around. Looks good. Now we're going to put this lid on and let it rip. And of course, we're just going to put one piece of hickory and that's it. Okay, it's only been about 15-20 minutes and look at the temperature. We're getting up to 290. That's exactly what we want. Remember, we didn't put any water in the pan and that's the reason why. We want a hot, dry smoke. Okay, 30 minutes in and we're at 325, 330. Stay hot, baby. All right, we're sitting about 275, 285. It's been about an hour. I'd say these babies are ready. I tried a couple of them. Come on, baby, get in there. 177, yeah. These are done. Bottom. These are the, the lime chili. Wow, look at these. These are the, the chili lime. And these over here are the uh, the habanero chipotle. They look good, don't they? I'm gonna take this one right over here. Can you see this one? I'm gonna take a little butter, honey, and just kind of make it look shiny. You know, make it look pretty. Flip that baby over. Try one over here. Look at this. These are the uh, habanero chipotle. Put a little butter and honey on these too, just to make them look pretty. Flip it over. All right. I'm ready to give these babies a try. This is the habanero chipotle. I already tried them once, but. Tell you what, they're good. I can tell you that right now. Hmm. They're definitely hot. One thing I liked about the uh, the habanero chipotle is that it wasn't too salty. So you could actually put more seasoning on it. Quite a bit of heat. Got a great flavor. Mm. Try the chili lime. Look at this one. That look good. Still hot. Mmm. Delicious. The the. Uh, the chili lime is a little bit more salty, but it's still, it's pretty hot as well. It's not as hot as the habanero, but it's good. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. You can get, uh, Chili lime seasoning and habanero chipotle at Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, Arkansas. 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Good.